Which are, oh, that's heavier than I remember. Hello everybody, it's me Nia. A couple of days ago, I went to Philadelphia to visit my friend Zaina, and I'd never ever been on a long haul flight before. So, I decided to look online to see what people usually packed and I found some videos and I thought it would be helpful if maybe I made a video to tell you everything that I brought in my little rucksack that went under my chair and also this is so heavy my big suitcase thing that went on my above thing you know that trunk where you put your bags in above your head yeah that one. I'm gonna start with the little bag. This is my Kankan bag. It's just a grey one. I got this from Urban Outfitters. Okay the first thing that takes up most of the space but is so light is this little pillow. It's one of those really cool ones that can be a normal pillow and what I did was like I leant against the window or like leant on the table and it was just really comfy. But the thing is that it folds out it's the coolest thing ever. It's like a little neck pillow and you can just like, you know, it's just so cozy. Here I just have a phone charger. This is for my phone over here, which is charging. It was really good because they had an area which you could watch a TV screen, charge your phone, and something that I wish I'd brought were my own pair of headphones. Because I have the iPhone 7, it doesn't have a headphone jack, so it doesn't have your normal headphones but I wish that I brought my headphones because I had to use the airplane ones and they just weren't that comfy and I had to sit on my first flight with them for like six hours and that was not a fun time. I got my purse here and inside I had some dollars left over from America and then on the other side I also have some English money because when I was in the English airport, I needed to spend English money when I was in America and also in the American airport, I need to spend dollars. I really need to exchange these back into pounds now. I have some cozy socks, which the other day I got really upset about because I lost my whole Christmas and cozy sock collection. So my dad surprised me and got me some grey and white cozy socks, which are my two favourite colours, if you can tell from my room. I've got a bit of yellow on my bedding this week. So it's exciting, pop of colour in my room. These are really good because when you get on the plane you just want to relax and I think I've smudged my nail polish. You just want to relax, take your shoes off, put some cosy socks on because your feet get cold on a long haul flight when I looked out the window and there were bits of snow or ice or something on the window and then when you look at the screen it tells you that it's like minus 57 degrees outside and you're like whoa pretty cold. Oh I haven't actually shown what's in my front pocket, I'll do that last. Next up I have this sleeping mask. When they turn out the lights on the plane there's going to be lights from people's screens and lights, people turning on lights when you're reading and also it's just like a nice little way of saying like sleep in, please don't disturb me kind of thing. I have a little map from when I went to Philadelphia Zoo very handy thing to have. I mean, when you're on that plane, you don't want to get lost. I bought this massive packet of gum, which I thought was going to be like the extra white flavour over here, like all the extra ice, but it just tastes like root beer. And I don't really know if I like root beer or not, because it tastes a bit like mouthwash. The last thing I have in this main pocket, is my sunglasses which are these marble ones which I got from Urban Outfitters and I've been wearing these a lot recently. The last section I have in here is my zip pocket. I have this little Reese's lip balm which if you don't know me then Reese's are my favourite chocolates ever. It just came in so handy because my lips felt really dry and I just put it on and I was like Okay, I'm good now. Oh, I have some extra white chewing gum, which is my favourite my favorite one. I also like the bubble mint flavour as well. It's really good. And then a wrapper. And the final thing, this was the most helpful thing when I was out and about, when I was in the airport, when I was 
doing things like when I went to the zoo. This is a portable charger. This can charge your phone three times and it tells you how many charges it has. This is actually full charge, but I think I already charged my phone on it once, so that is pretty good. Onto my big bag. I don't actually know where I got this from. This is the front little pocket here, and inside it has a what, what do I call this? A US plug adapter. It has the UK plug and then it goes into the US one. Oh, here is the head of my charger. My 600D charger. My G7X charger. Unzip this. Okay, I'm gonna go into this pocket here first. Oh, I forgot about this. This is very exciting. So when I was over in America, we went to Dollar Tree, which I think is like the American Poundland, because everything in there was one dollar. And I basically bought a whole bunch of American candy. One of the things that I was I was shook when I saw it is this Reese's miniature cups stuffed with Reese's Pieces, so inside they've got Reese's Pieces. Obviously in here I have things like underwear, bras and socks and stuff, and I have some pyjamas. I have the charger for my portable charger, so you just plug it in here, and it's got a USB thing, so you can plug it into a plug. In Heathrow I got this bag from Duty Free, got some of those aeroplane headphones that I was on about. I got, I got these for my brother because he's always going through pairs of headphones and I thought maybe he would want them. Then I bought these M&Ms which are my favourite M&Ms ever. They are the crispy M&Ms. <gasps> I found it! Oh I thought I'd lost this. Oh, I'm so happy. All I have left in here really are just receipts. Next in here I have this plastic bag which has my liquids in which I had to decant into different bottles. I have some conditioner, shampoo, cleanser, uh, micellar water. Oh, it's so sticky in this bag. Hand sanitizer, a little hand, a little hand food, and also my moisturizer, which I didn't actually know was pink. Next up, I have two outfits. I brought three with me. One of them I obviously was wearing. Then the other two I brought with me. When I got there it was boiling and those jeans and that jumper just were making me too hot so I had to go with things like shorts, this vest top, oh should I tell you where they're all from? These shorts are from New Look, this top here is from Urban Outfitters, this is also from Urban Outfitters, hang on let's hold it this way, it looks like a dress but it's actually a play suit. I hope I didn't break anything. This is my wash bag. You open it up and it just has two sides. Got my deodorant. This has practically run out now. I also have a toothbrush and a toothpaste, which were very handy because afterwards you just feel so gross and like you just need to freshen up. Then I have some other bits and bobs, a hair tie, and some makeup cleaning pads which you pour micellar water on and just some tissues because I always carry tissues on me. Johnson's extra sensitive baby wipes, a body spray, and then I just have my makeup bits and bobs. I packed really light on makeup. I brought an eyeshadow primer, this is the eyeshadow primer potion by Ellen Decay and the Tarte in Bloom palette by Tarte, four eyeshadow brushes, an eyeliner which I didn't actually end up using but I just brought it in case I was feeling a bit fancy, Rimmel Brow This Way eyebrow kit, my Benefit roller lash mascara and a MAC lipstick in the shade Fetish which is a brown colour. I use this all the time in autumn. So that is everything that I took with me on the flight or bought in America. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a huge thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Comment down below your essentials when you're on a long haul flight and I will see you next time. Goodbye! Bye.